Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. Recently, I created a motion graphics project where I animated pen and pencil in a unique coiling effect. Many of you saw it on my Instagram and I'm excited to show you exactly how I animated this effect without using any third-party plugins. Let's dive into After Effects. Pencil animation. Right now, we are in After Effects and we are animating the pencil first. First of all, I select all the layers except the pencil layer. Then, I pre-compose them and name this new composition Map. Check this icon and click OK. After that, I open the ruler in the composition. Zoom in a little bit and add guidelines around the orange part of the pencil. Now, open the position properties of the map layer by pressing P and add a keyframe. Move the time indicator to the 2 second mark and adjust the map layer position, aligning the orange part perfectly with the help of the guidelines. Next, I select the pencil layer, duplicate it and place the duplicate above the map layer. Then I rename this layer as Pencil Top. After that, I select the map layer and change its track mat to alpha mat. You can see that the pencil animation is working perfectly. Now, I select all the layers, pre-compose them and name this new comp as pencil. Then check this icon again and click OK. With the pencil comp selected, go to layer styles and choose stroke. Under the stroke properties, change the position to inside. Then I set the color of the stroke to black and adjust the size to around 8 pixels. I play back the animation to check it and everything looks good. Finally, I open the composition settings, reduce the height of the comp to 600 pixels and place it to the center of this composition. Nice! We've successfully created the pencil animation. Let's move on to the pen rotation animation. First of all, enable this switch for both layers by clicking this icon. Then, I lock the pen layer and focus on the handle layer. Zoom in a bit and turn on the ruler. Add a guideline to find the center of the pen's handle. After that, I select the pan behind tool and I place the anchor point at the center of the pen handle. Then I make this layer as a 3D layer. Now, open the rotation properties and adjust the X rotation to check the handle's movement. If everything looks aligned, I reset the X rotation. Next, I add a keyframe to the X rotation. Then, I move the time indicator to the 4 second mark and change the X rotation value to negative 2 making the pen rotate twice in the negative direction. Then I go to the effects panel and search for echo effect. Next, apply the echo effect to the handle layer. Next, go to the effect controls panel, then adjust the settings. Change echo time to negative 0.002, then number of echoes, 60, and lastly, echo operator set as minimum. After applying these, I play back the animation. It's getting closer to the final look. Now pay close attention here. Go back to the first frame and slowly move the time indicator until you reach negative 180 degree rotation. At this point, split the layer. Rename this new layer as bottom one and place it below the pen layer. Then. Move the time indicator forward to the next negative 360 degree rotation or negative 1 rotation value. Split the layer again, rename it top 1 and place it above the handle layer. Next, move the time indicator to negative 1 times 180 degree rotation and split the layer once more. And rename this layer bottom 2 and place it below the bottom 1 layer. With that done, let's check the animation.
All right, go back to the first frame. And select the handle layer. Then go to the Effect Controls panel and add a keyframe to the number of echoes. Set the initial echo number to zero. Then, move the time indicator to around minus 72 degrees rotation and set the echo number to 60. Now, move the time indicator to minus 140 degrees rotation and add another keyframe for echo number. Move the time indicator to the last frame of this layer and set the echo number back to zero. Next, select the bottom one layer and set its echo number to zero. Copy the keyframes from the handle layer and paste them onto the top one layer. Finally, for the bottom two layer, change the echo number to zero as well. Let's check the animation before moving forward. All right, we have a slight issue with a blank line caused by the echo effect, but don't worry, we can fix it easily. Move the time indicator to where the line is appearing, then zoom in for a better view. Select the rectangle tool and create a shape that matches the area of the blank line. Open the position properties of this layer and animate it manually by adjusting the position as the animation plays. Once aligned, trim this layer to only cover the affected area. Duplicate this layer, move it to the top one layer and align it to match the animation. Before moving forward, let's check the animation. Nice, it's looking good. Now, select all the layers, pre-compose them and name this comp Pen. Check this icon and click OK. Let's move on to loop animation. First, create a new composition and name it Loop Animation. Set the width and height to 1080 by 1080 pixels, which is perfect for creating looping animations. Now bring in the pen and pencil compositions into this new composition. Open their scale properties and scale them down a little bit to fit into the frame. You'll notice that the pen shape is shorter than the pencil. To make the animation look neat, adjust the pen's length slightly so it matches the pencil's length and width. Once that's done, select the pen layer, go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for Wave Warp. Apply it to the pen layer, got to to the Effect Controls panel and change the following settings. Wave height, around 90. Wave width, around 500. Direction. Phase. Set this to around 116 degrees. Let's see how the animation looks now. The pen should ripple slightly, adding a nice flow to the animation. Next, we'll speed up the pen's rotation. Right-click on the pen layer, go to Time, and choose Time Remapping. Move the time indicator to the 4 second mark where the pen rotation ends and add a keyframe. Then go back to 2 seconds, drag the 4 second keyframe to the 2 second mark and check the animation. Now the pen rotates faster, matching the pencil speed. Once that's done, copy the wave warp effect from the pen layer and paste it onto the pencil layer. Go to the Effect Controls panel for the pencil layer and change the phase value to zero. This aligns the wave effect of both the pen and pencil, making their motion feel cohesive. Now, play back the animation. You'll see that both layers move together in a synchronized, seamless way, giving us a strong base for the looping animation. All right, let's create the twisting animation. First, select the pen layer and duplicate it, then place it below the pencil layer. Now, rename this layer as Pen Bottom and lock this layer. Also, lock the pencil layer as well. Now, this is the important part. Select the layer, then choose the Rectangle Shape Builder tool and carefully create a rectangle mask like this. You can see, as I create this mask over the pen, 
It creates the illusion that the pencil is going under the pen because we set the pen bottom layer below the pencil layer. We did this intentionally. Now carefully create a mask like this and open the mask properties. Then simply click on the mask path stopwatch to add a keyframe. After that, move the time indicator forward a bit and adjust the mask path slightly. Once again, move the time indicator forward a bit and adjust the mask. You just need to create the mask and adjust its position to create the twisting effect. After that, check the animation by moving the time indicator along the timeline. Alright, once you're done, let's create another mask on this layer. First, move the time indicator slowly to check the animation. Then, and create one more mask at this point. Once again, click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe, then move the time indicator and adjust the mask shape. Basically, you need to repeat this process until you get the final animation. Simply create a mask and adjust it according to the pen's movements. Once you're done, simply check the animation. And that's how I created this animation in After Effects without using any third-party plugins. I hope you liked this video and learned something new today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please press the like button and support me using the link in the description below. That's it for now. See you in the next video.